Hello, there are many ways to add items to a list. In this training session, we'll take a quick look at some of these options, including adding items from the library collection, adding items from the web, uploading files, and more. After entering your list, you can search for items which are available through your institution's library. Click on the Add option and choose Search the Library. You can search by title, author, keyword, or any combination of search terms to find what you're looking for. Your library's collection, which includes books, book chapters, articles, videos, and more, is a great place to start because these are high quality, academic resources that your students will be able to easily access. After you run your search, you can filter your results to a specific type, such as articles or book chapters, or by availability options such as open access or full text online. Scrolling down, you can see the relevant results, including details about whether an item is available in physical or electronic format. When you find an item you want to add, you can drag and drop it into the desired section. You can also click on the item, specify the section, and click Add. These items have now been added to the list. It is also very easy to add items, including items available from your library, from anywhere on the web using the Cited Bookmarklet. You can use the Cited tool on any website, adding a book you found on Amazon, a video from YouTube, or anything else. For example, you may want to share this article with your students. To add this item to your list, simply click Cited, and a pop-up appears with the item's details. The Cited tool can harvest most of the details about an item, such as the title, author, etc. You can add or edit the details as needed. Note that if your library has this item, Cited displays the covered by your library indication, and the list will automatically include links to the library copy. You can add the item to a specific list and a specific section, or you can collect it for your favorites, which is a place to save items and quickly access them later on. Click Add and Close. Back at the list, we can see the article has been added. To install Cited on your browser, click your Settings menu and select Cited. Then simply drag and drop the Cited button to your browser's toolbar. That's it. You are ready to start adding items from the web. You may also have files that you would like to include in your list, such as a PDF of an article or a book chapter, or even your lecture slides. In the Add menu, click Upload Files. Here, you can upload a single file or a folder containing several files. Select the appropriate option, then click on the text or drag a file or folder from your computer. Depending on your institution, you may be prompted to select an option related to copyright. If required, choose the appropriate option. The system may have added the title of your file. If not, you can add it or edit it. Select or change the item type, and then click on Next. Fill in any additional information about the item, and when you're finished, click Next. Specify which section you want to add the item to. Then add any information that is relevant for your students. You can hide this item from your students, add a note for your students, or add a tag. If you want to learn more about these options, watch the Modifying Lists and Items session. Finally, click Add to add this item to your list. Most of the time, you'll probably be using one of the three options already shown to add items to your list, but let's point out a few additional options. Clicking on the Add button, you can also add items from your favorites, where you may have previously saved some favorite items. Just click Add or drag and drop them. If you already have resources that you have saved elsewhere, such as in a reference management system, including RefWorks, Zotero, or Mendeley, or if you have a file that contains references, click Add and then choose the right option for you. If you don't see your Reference Manager listed here, go to Settings and choose Reference Managers to connect your account. And if you don't have any other way to add an item 
or just prefer to type in the relevant details. From the Add button, select Manual Entry, and just like at the file upload, fill out the relevant details and click Next to work through the screens. Once you have added a few items to your list, you can move them around by dragging and dropping them. And from the item menu, you can edit or delete items from the list. This was an overview on ways to add items to your list. Thank you for joining.